Hello friends, uh, we will discuss one more pentagonal pyramid problem in this session and uh, so far we discussed two hexagonal prism, two pentagonal uh, prism and two pentagonal, uh, two hexagonal pyramid and one pentagonal pyramid. If you wish to see those uh, problem videos, you can check the description for box link as well as question is add with the description box in this uh, previous video we discussed one of its slant edges on hp on the same pentagonal pyramid here one of its triangular faces on hp so we also discussed the concept like if the slant edge is on hp one corner must touches hp if the face is on hp one base edge must touches hp we discussed the same in the previous session. Now check what is the hexagonal pentagonal pyramid. Here OAB is one triangular face, OBC is another triangular face, OCD is another triangular face. Similarly, they are having five triangular faces. So what the question? One of its triangular faces on HP. The space and axis we are all well uh, first with this uh, data. Base 30 mm, axis 60 mm long lying with one of its triangular faces on HP such that its axis is parallel to PP. So we can take a OBC. This OBC triangular face is on HP means this BC. If OBC triangular face is on HP, what about this BCH? BCH must touches the BCH must touches the HP plane. So with this we can draw the plane surface of X pentagon. So what is the plane surface of pentagon? As I said, one edge of the base, BC, one edge of this base, this uh, edge I am having this OBC triangular face which is on HP. That's why one base plane surface of pentagon edge base edge is on HP. After rotation of 90 degree, what is the position of this? We have two options, clockwise direction. If you rotate, this is the answer and as per the condition triangular face on hp i always uh, prefer h must on the it must be on the uh, right side it will be convenient for us to draw step number three let's check uh, column draw x y then what is the position of uh, pentagon so being uh, h is on hp i prefer to keep the edge on the right side rather than keeping the edge on the left side and of uh, now you can uh, give a name for all the corners then the base is 30 mm and o a b c d e and with this uh, identify the midpoint of this diagonal and mark it as o and join all the slant edges from the corners of uh, pentagon surface okay this is o center apex or vertex is O. Now you can extend the projectors from all the corners. Here the axis is offset from all the edges. So axis is some of it is not exactly coinciding on any edges. So the representation of uh, axis is long dashed dotted lines. What is the height of this axis is 60 mm. This we can fix it as O dash. Now you can join all these slant edges like uh, O dash, D dash, O dash, E dash, O dash. Uh, CB all the corners as observer is standing here I can say DCB is visible DCB is visible with this I can clearly uh, say that O dash join all these slant edges C dash E dash here the C dash is uh, visible but E dash is invisible and B dash is visible A dash is invisible d dash also visible from the for the observer as as an observer is standing here this is the simple position of this pentagonal pyramid now one of its triangular faces on hp even though you may not uh, aware of how the triangular faces on hp now you can check it here where that exact triangular face is there oab is the triangular face where i have keep keeping this edge on hp ab is the edge which is on hp on that I am having a triangular face as OAB here in the front view O dash A dash B dash so here it is OAB in the top view in the front view it is O dash B dash it must be drawn exactly on the XY reference line 
so you can measure the distance of o dash this a dash using scale don't uh, draw for 60 mm which is different from this uh, length slant edge length so you can on the xy you can complete this p dash a dash as well as o dash now i have to fix this corner d dash so i can use two options one the inclination i can measure the inclination of uh, this base by keeping the protractor on this o dash p dash a dash slant edge or i can use two ox how can i complete this two ox take o dash as center and this d dash as radius here o dash as center use d dash as radius draw an arc then uh, this p dash a dash p dash a dash as center d dash as radius again draw an arc both will meet at one point you can fix these uh, uh, d dash corner complete the inclination step number three position front view okay after completing this you can extend the projectors from all the respective corners of uh, pentagonal surface as well as the apex or vertex o dash this is familiar because we solved already uh, three more uh, problems in the pyramid so you can fix all the corners of the pentagonal surface as well as o dash of uh, marking the meeting point of respective corners by means of top and front as uh, we discussed in the previous case where the slant edges and hps not notice the difference between these two problems in last case corner is on this side because we tilted only the slant edge here we have make sure that uh, we are make sure that this o dash a dash is the b dash o dash a dash b dash is the oab is the triangular face which is exactly on y now so on hp now as an observer standing here i can able to see all these corners okay as an observer standing here i can see all these corners so complete the uh, surface of pentagon by continuous thick lines by connecting all the corners what about the boundary here remaining boundary of the top view is oc o1c1 and o1e1 join this o1c1 and o1e1 by means of continuous thick lines then uh, remaining is a1 b1 slant edge oa1 ob o1b1 slant edge and o1d1 slant edge if you see from this uh, top view i can clearly see this o dash d dash uh, slant edge so that has to be drawn by means of continuous thick line this a dash b dash corner is visible for me but this slant edge is not visible from the top view because it is exactly on hp if it is on hp being a solid if i see from the top this slant edge o dash uh, b dash a dash is not visible from the top view that has to be marked by means of hidden lines o1 a1 similarly o1 b1 okay so this triangular face on hp or uh, slant edge on hp is uh, most important uh, problem you have to understand the concepts of what is slant edge on hp triangular face on hp always remember slant edges means slant edges must connect one of the corners oa is the slant edge which is touching the one corner of the pentagonal surface base because being pentagonal pyramid what is the base pentagon is the base oa is the slant edge which is touching only the corner of the pentagon okay if the triangular face on hp oab is the triangular face being triangular face on hp this ab is on hp so these two things you have to remember if for the same problem they can ask axis inclining instead of slant edge on hp triangular face on hp they can ask you to tilt axis is on if you feel if you have any doubts or queries you can chat that through the comment box okay comments are most